Welcome back, Glam Fam. It's your girl, Angela Denise, and we are here with you today with a foundation review and wear test. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full wear test on the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. This foundation comes in 30 shades, or at least there's 30 shades available on the Sephora website for $44. I have several shades that I wanna swatch for you so that we can determine which shade is gonna work best for you and for me. I'm gonna be swatching the shades 11 Cool, 11 Warm, 11 Neutral, and 12 Neutral on my face and on my arm so that we can decide which foundation is gonna work the best. So. I don't know about you, but there have been a ton of new makeup releases that I'm so excited about for January. And I'm, I'm really here for it uh, because last year I really did not try out foundations. I kind of had my core foundations. Um, actually, I tried out a few, but for someone that reviews makeup, not very many foundations got reviewed last year. So this year, I am all about the foundations. I'm about all complexion products. So if that's something that you like, then this might be the channel for you. So before we dive into it, I want to give a big shout out to one of my subscribers, Miss Shay M. Thank you so much for rocking with me and engaging with my content. So for me, Charlotte Tilbury's foundation ranges tend to pull orangey, like the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I really like their foundation, but I feel like the shades are a bit weird, especially for the deeper shades. They can pull very, very warm, and my skin tone is neutral, so that can be a problem for me. Well, I think that this foundation is one. It's basically her best as far as shades are concerned. Now, I do know that there's some shades that have a jump, like the jump between the shade 13 and 14. I get that. But for me in particular, like my shade group, the shades 11 and 12, I think these are like her best in her entire uh, collection of foundations because they don't pull too warm. They are actually 12, 11 neutral and 12 neutral are true neutral foundations. And that is really a godsend. Let's go ahead and dive into the swatches and demo. Okay, this is 11 Cool. This is 11 Warm. This is 11 Neutral. This is 12 neutral. We're going to let these sit on the skin for about five to 10 minutes. I want them to fully oxidize. Then we will come back and look at the color and decide what you guys think is the best color for my skin tone at this type of year. All right, Glam Fam, I am back and this is about 10 minutes um, on the face and you can definitely see that the colors did oxidize a bit. So I want you guys to just comment and let me know which one you think looks best on my skin right now. This is cool, 11 cool, 11 warm, 11 neutral, 12 neutral. Okay, fam, I went ahead because I saw something in the swatches that I thought was very interesting. Sorry for the way I look, but it's wash day, okay? Um, I saw something in the swatches that I wanted to point out. So I went ahead and applied 11 Warm all over the face. And I, I really like the way this one looks. And, and here's why. Because I know that as soon as I get 
a little bit, an hour or two of sun come springtime, my complexion is going to deepen and it's going to be a little bit golden. I'm still more neutral, but a little bit golden. And um, so I'm, I don't want to have to buy two foundations. So really quick, this is what 11 Warm looks like on the face. I did some swatches for you on my chest. This is 11 Warm. This is 11 Neutral. This is 12 Neutral. Now you can see that all three of them are a bit darker than my natural skin tone. However, 11 Neutral is the closest. Um, but honestly, you guys, I am going to warm up during the summertime. So this actually may be the best shade. I think you guys, please come in and let me know the best shade for me to go ahead and purchase because right now I can go ahead and highlight and blend everything in. Um, but during the summertime, this actually might be perfect because 12 neutral may still even be too dark for me during the summertime. And the reason why I'm, I'm thinking this is because after looking at the swatches and how they dry down, 12 neutral still may a little be a little bit too rich for me in the summertime while I think 11 warm like I have on my face right now I can work with this year round you guys comment down below let me know what you think now let's get into the face demo okay so I've already done my skin prep with the Charlotte Tilbury this time I use the magic cream light and this is my Mac prep and prime skin refine zone in the problem areas this is my standard procedure for foundation um, we're going to be doing the beautiful skin foundation shade 11 neutral because that's what I wear in her other foundations also using my buffing foundation brush from Ulta the foundation seems to be quite thick, but it's still runny. This is two pumps. I'm gonna start where I need the most coverage and blend outward. So I got a facial the other day and I did some uh, chemical peel treatments to some spots. So my skin in certain areas um, feels a little bit tight. So I just want to put that out there. Um, my skin is more definitely combination, but it's feeling a little bit dry and dehydrated with the cooler weather that we have here in Texas right now. So my skin is typically oily or a combination right now it feels tight and dehydrated okay so this is the foundation applied to one side of my face um, this side has foundation this side has no foundation what are you guys thinking about the shade so I have multiple shades but I wanted to go ahead and use the shade 11 neutral because that's what I typically use Especially my chin. My chin, um, because of the chemical peel, feels pretty tight. But I wanted to go ahead and get the review up for you guys. Because I want to see how I like this foundation in comparison to the new NARS foundation. Okay, so I'm getting um, a definite medium coverage. You can kind of see here this blemish that I have. You can see it. Um, you can also see the blemish that I have here. So what I want to do, I want to try to build it up in those areas. Also, what are you guys thinking about the color? 
Um, I do think that 12 neutral would be a better match for me during the summertime. This is what the remainder looks like blended out on the back of my hand. Just very, very beautiful. Okay, so I was able to build up some coverage here on this blemish and this blemish here and here. I, I would say the coverage did build, but it didn't build to a full. So this is definitely not like a full coverage foundation and that's okay. Um, I am liking the way it's looking on the skin. Okay, yeah, I, it's very, very pretty on the skin. I just had to get a closer look. So she looks really beautiful. Um, I'm just hoping that it wears well throughout the day. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on a face. Um, everything that I'm gonna be using today will be listed down in the description bar. I forgot to mention what time it was. I would say I applied the foundation at about 9.50 ish. It is currently 10.08 right now in the morning and I'm gonna try to wear this for at least eight hours today. Okay, we are back and all of my makeup has been applied and it has officially been about 45, 50 minutes um, since I have applied the foundation. And you all know I have a standard protocol when it comes to prepping my face. So I wanna keep those things consistent in my foundation reviews. In today's video, I set my face, again, everything is gonna be linked in the description bar. I set my face with my OG Holy Grail Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. Shade that I wear is the shade 40. I do not think that you can get a full coverage out of this foundation, but I'm okay with that. Medium coverage is my preferred uh, foundation type. Now, if I wanted to cover dark spots, you can just go in and spot treat certain areas with a color corrector. I didn't feel like that was necessary considering that uh, this is just a regular day. So we're gonna go about our day. It is 10.49, can you see that? 10.49, so what are you guys thinking about the complexion? I was a little bit concerned because again, I do have some tightness in certain spots on the face because I've gotten a, a, a spot chemical treatment. And um, so in 
my, my chin area, especially my foundation. I'm not quite sure how that's going to wear, but I want to go ahead and put that out there as a disclaimer that um, I do have some dehydrated, dry, tight skin right now because of the treatment that I just got. And plus, it's really dry and cool in Texas right now, and my skin is just feeling really, really dehydrated. So um, I will do most likely multiple check-ins throughout the day, and then I'll come back to the studio and then do a final check-in in front of the ch a camera so that you guys can see what we're working with. Okay, so a real quick check-in on the foundation. Um, it is three o'clock, so how many hours is that? Since 11 o'clock, since 10 o'clock, I put this foundation on. So it's been five hours and I would definitely have to say, uh, we are out on MLK doing some festivities and I mean, you got there's a little bit of oil coming through around my nose. Um, but I think it looks really good so far. Okay, Glam fam, it has been a really, really long day. Um, I think this wear test is coming up on 10 and a half hours. And obviously, obviously I am shiny in the T-zone, but the foundation actually wore better than I expected. Now you guys, do you really expect to wear a foundation this long and not have to touch up, not have to do anything to your face? Well, so far I have done nothing to my face. I have not blotted. So what I want to do is go ahead and blot and kind of see how the foundation um, looks after blotting. So it is 10, I'm sorry, it is 8.30. We applied the foundation on at... 10 o'clock or a little bit before 10 o'clock. So I have some toilet paper here and I'm just going to blot the T-zone. And that reduced the shine tremendously. As far as the wear of the foundation, um, I do feel like it looks a little bit cakey, like around the creases of my nose. Um, and maybe even on the chin, it has broken up a bit. Um, but you can clearly see that on my chin, I have some tight skin from that chemical peel treatment that I put got on my chin um, day before yesterday. You see? So yeah, so my skin is actually feeling very dry and dehydrated just from the weather fluctuations here in Texas. It's cool on the cooler side and that chemical peel. But generally, you guys, I literally did not touch up not one thing at all today. And I actually am really, you know, happy about how my foundation wore um, throughout the day. Again, all the details about all of the makeup that I applied on my face after the foundation will be in the description bar. And I hope that you guys are liking these foundation reviews. Um, I, I like the foundation, you guys. It, it's, it's holding up better than I expected. So yeah, until the next foundation review, I will see you later.